Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. It's Phoenix Tutorials, so you know it's gonna be awesome. Okay, first of all, what are we gonna be making? Well, I'm gonna show you. And if you're wondering why I sound like a dying fish, it's cause I'm kinda sick and I have a sore throat. Ta-da, so that's basically what we're gonna be making. So let's get into this. First, I'm just gonna delete all these so we can start from scratch together. Okay, you go to toolbox. Now, how do we get this part? First of all, go to toolbox, search of fan mod 1.20. Actually, fan mod, mod version 1.20. And drag this inside now it's in the workspace all you do now is take drag that under replicated storage specifically replicated storage and then you search up being fan tutorial one then you drag that in and this is the model so you guys don't have to waste time like doing boring unimportant stuff now you should have something that looks like this in the move we just add a script first line way two so we don't have to do like workspace come on wait for child we can just do workspace and do the parts we're looking for then we're gonna get the fan mode then we're gonna get all the parts that are necessary okay so we're gonna have a start a mid and an end start mid and end and we can move this mid anywhere we can move it like right here no i will move it right there okay let's continue so now we're gonna get a local pose these are basically our positions and then down here we just do fan mark dot and then go down to Bezier curve, put positions and put the part you want to move. Now in the positions, we're just gonna do start duck position. By the way, this does not take C frames, it only takes position. Back to three values. Then it's gonna be like start, mid and end. And voila, our Bezier curve should work. Let's play and test. It's literally that simple, guys. Oh my god, it works. I'll tell you something. So, is there more to this Bezier curve function? Yes, yes there is, so stick around. The third parameter is basically how smooth you want it to be. It's automatically 20, if you change it to 5, then to be 5, if you change 100, then to be 100. And the fourth parameter is how long you want it to take. It's automatically 1 if there's no value, but if there is a value, then it will become the value. There's more to this Bezier function, by the way, way more, so stick along for that. Now, you may be asking, why don't you just set this to 100? Because... The higher the, this value is, the less accurate it will be time-wise. That's why I made it show you the time, so you know the time. This Bezier curve isn't like perfect. It still has one or two like not so great things, but it's awesome overall. So 100 is like high high. It took four seconds, which is double the time we wanted it to take. Now, if we put it to what it's automatically on 20, then it's going to take very close to 2 seconds. Two seconds, 56 milliseconds. So it depends on you. Now I said there was more. 
what am I talking about? Okay, watch this. So I'm just gonna do local start function. Wait, local function start function. Brackets. Then I'm gonna do another one called end function. No, just end and start. Now I'm gonna be in here print start and in here print end. So these functions will fire at the start and at the end. So the first one's gonna be start and the second one's gonna be end. So start and And that's basically the tutorial. 